Welcome to this short tutorial on explaining the use of the audio video analysis software. When you download this software from the 4M's webpage, you will get uh, a zip file uh, that corresponds to either the Windows or Mac version. If you unzip this file, you will get the application itself, which is on the Mac, is just one program file, and on the Windows, um, it is a folder with different files. Uh, there you open the application file. So we open this one, and then we will get up the main window. I should say now that the audio video analysis software is a real-time analysis software and will only give you then a real-time output. We start by clicking on the start button up here in the corner and this will turn on the video grabbing from an attached video camera. Uh, we can see the video image coming in here and the analysis on of the motion image is done uh, immediately. So what you see lighting up as white here in this image is the motion happening in the image. This motion is then calculated into this, uh, this column here and is plotted uh, as a motion gram down here. A motion gram basically displays motion and where it happens and if I'm moving, for example, my hand up and down like this, you will be able to follow the contours of the motion in the motion gram. It is possible to adjust the filtering of the motion here. So if I turn it all the way down, we will get a lot of motion being displayed. If I turn it a lot up, we will get less motion displayed. On the right side of this, you have access to uh, the audio input. You can select to use a built-in microphone or possibly a line input if you have that. In this case, I only have a microphone uh, connected. Uh, again, you can filter this to change what is shown in the spectrogram here. And if I make, for example, a noisy sound, you will see that it lights up with a lot of spectral energy in uh, all of the frequency area here. There's not really much more to audio video analysis than this. There's one hidden feature which is you can access by uh, pressing the escape button on your computer which will turn the analysis window into a full screen display. Uh, otherwise, if you want to export material from such analysis, uh, you should rather look at the video analysis software, uh, which is made for specifically for exporting high-resolution images.